The Queen's actor Mla Mli Mangala, who plays the character of Captain Stembiso Hatebe, has accused the couple, Corny and Shona Ferguson of Ferguson Films, of course, of being masters of deception as well as ill treatment. Look, this is not the first time, probably not going to be the last time that the Fergusons have found themselves on the trending list, trending for all the wrong reasons. Now, before we get into why the Ferguson Films found themselves on the trending list today, if you are new to this glorious channel, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button, hit the bell notification notification to be notified of future uploads. With that said, hello and welcome to Red Live. So Ektam Lamli Mangala has revealed in a leaked letter that he nearly lost his house and car after he was promised better rates by the producers Corny and Shona Ferguson. And according to that particular letter, all those promises that were made to him never materialized. And to put the final nail in that coffin, he also revealed that he will now be exiting the show. Now he also posted the following on social media, we come, we serve, we take a bow or forced to take one. The force is either internal or external but remains a force. The truth will always prevail and stand during the test of time. Sanity, integrity will one day take over the reins from greed and lies, taking a bow. Now, like I said, there's also a letter that has surfaced on social media where he makes all sorts of allegations. In fact, let us take a look at that letter. So this is the first page of the letter. I played Captain Stembiso Hatebe since season one. It was a small role that was going to take two months. The channel and Ferguson Films loved the character and decided that I continue for a year. I accepted the offer during the two months so as to be in their database. I am based in Cape Town and I had to fly myself, accommodate, and accept a rate that was three times less than my normal rate. When they asked me to stay in for a year, I asked if we could look at my rate, traveling, accommodation, and pedium. They promised to do that when we go to season two. I accepted, although they gave me a take it or leave it attitude when we got to the negotiations for season two. They only gave me an increase of 100 rand. We got to season three and they gave me a global contract, but with an increase of 100 rand again. All this time, they will promise to give me all that is due to me in the next season and that never happened. We got to season four and the same happened. This time they accommodated me at the Cosa Mansion that has more than six bedrooms. I was however sharing a bed with a gentleman who was looking after the house. I complained about this but it was never sorted. The second page reads, in October I told them that I will no longer afford to go to Johannesburg and also can no longer share the same bed with another guy. They promised to sort everything out in season five and I have written documents of that. They pay for my flights from October until December. They paid for my inbound flights from Cape Town to Johannesburg and I had to fly myself back in 2020, leasing to contract negotiations. They promised to impress upon the channel that my rate should be corrected, accommodation and traveling. To my surprise, they called me last month to tell me they will be killing the character because Gomorrah's date went up and they needed something that will hike their ratings. I'm in Cape Town and they wanted me to come back to Johannesburg this week driving my own car and they will only pay for my inbound and I have to find my way out. The Ferguson films made me pay for being on TV. I lost my car and also was in the verge of losing my house until the in-laws rescued me. I had to adjust the, my living and the painful issues that my kids had to adopt to this nightmare. They gave me an offer in the name if talking to the channel knowing very well it was a deception. So that is the letter that has been making the rounds on social media. Now, when it comes to the Fergusons, it does seem that Connie Ferguson has confirmed that Mangala's exit from the soapy is inbound. She also apparently went on to say that his character was meant to come to an end at the same time as Jerry Marquez's character played by Shona Ferguson. As all contracts do expire on the Queen at the end of May. So yeah, do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this particular story and this time around why the Fergusons are being dragged on social media. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.